Have you ever seen a motor that rotates in the opposite direction to the rotating magnetic field? Your answer to this question will probably be no. But, will you get surprised when I will tell you that, this kind of motor was already developed in 1888 by genius inventor, Nikola Tesla? Nikola Tesla designed a synchronous motor in which, the rotor rotates in the opposite direction of the rotating magnetic field. The synchronous motor designed by Nikola Tesla was cheap, simple, reliable, and easy to maintain. When properly constructed, this motor showed high efficiency. So first, let us see the design of this synchronous motor, and then we will see, how this synchronous motor works. Here we have these pole pieces of the field magnet around which two coils are wound. Now, we have this split and insulated armature core. This armature core is mounted in non-magnetic crossbars. Here also, two independent coils are wound upon this armature core and are passed through the shaft. These coils are connected to the insulated contact rings. Then we have brushes that bear upon these insulated contact rings. Let us take two different colors for easier understanding. Now, we will see the working of this synchronous motor. Suppose, initially the armature is in this position, and we are supplying a two-phase alternating current, having a phase difference of 90 degrees, through the coils of the armature. At the beginning, when T equals zero, we can see that, current in the green coil is maximum, and the current in the red coil is zero. Therefore, a magnetic field will be generated around the green coil. The direction of this generated magnetic field is given by the right hand grip rule. Now, this magnetic field will induce two opposite poles on the pole pieces of the field magnets. Now, at time t equals t1, we can see that current in the green coil reduces and the current in the red coil increases. So, two magnetic fields will be generated here. The resultant of these two magnetic fields will be in this direction. Therefore, we can see that, the resultant magnetic field has rotated anti-clockwise. Now, since the current in the green coil is reduced, the strength of the magnetic field generated by the green coil is also reduced. Due to this, the strength of the induced poles, on the pole pieces of the field magnets, also reduces, but still, it has sufficient strength, and the armature rotates in a clockwise direction, due to attraction between the resultant magnetic field, and pole pieces of the motor. Now, we all know that, this rotating magnetic field is created by the, corresponding action of the changing direction of the alternating current. If anyone wants to know, how a rotating magnetic field is created, then kindly watch this video. In the beginning, the speed of rotation of this resultant magnetic field is very fast, compared to the speed of rotation of the armature. So, let us see what happens, when this resultant magnetic field is reversed. When this resultant magnetic field is reversed, we can see that the individual magnetic field of the red coil and the green coil is also reversed. Therefore, now the pole pieces of the field magnet, which was magnetized by magnetic induction, will now have opposite polarity, and we can see that, here also the attraction between the pole pieces of the field magnet and the resultant magnetic field will try to rotate the armature in clockwise direction. So, the armature will continue to rotate in a clockwise direction, and it will continue to gain speed. Initially, the speed of rotation of the armature is very slow. Therefore, the pole pieces of the field magnet are subjected to rapid reversals of magnetic polarity. But, as the speed of rotation of the armature increases, these magnetic pole reversals become less and less frequent and finally cease when the rotation of the armature becomes synchronous with the rotating magnetic field, but in the opposite direction. At this stage, we can see that the rotating magnetic field has assumed a fixed position relative to the field magnets. Think like this, at synchronous speed, if a rotating magnetic field rotates one degree anti-clockwise, then the armature will also rotate one degree, but in the clockwise direction. So, we can see that the position of the rotating magnetic field is fixed at synchronous speed. At synchronous speed, we can see that for every cycle of the alternating current supplied, the rotor rotates by a fixed amount. Here, the fixed amount is 360 degrees, but it can vary depending on the construction of the motor. Therefore, to control the speed of synchronous motor, we have to change the frequency of the alternating current. 
Now, when the motor has achieved synchronous speed, then a DC current is passed through the field coils, in order to strongly energize the field magnets. This DC current will not increase the speed of rotation of the motor, but it will increase the power, which the motor produces, in its rotation in proportion to the energy supplied through the coils. In this way, Nikola Tesla designed this synchronous motor. Dear viewer, if you want to watch more videos of Nikola Tesla's inventions, kindly visit my channel, and please like this video.